Hello everyone, hope everybody is in the best of health. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a free landing page with Canva. Canva is a platform that you can get started on for completely free. All you'll need to do is go on to canva.com and you're going to enter your email address to create an account and that's it. Once on canva.com, all I want you to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on create a design. Once you have selected create a design, what I want you to do is simply type in web, then you are going to tap right where you see website. After you have tapped on website, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you're going to see a blank canvas. And also you're going to pay attention to the left hand menu option. For example, you are going to see elements and you can also see uploads and text. Let's say for example, I want to create a landing page for healthy eating. All I would have to do is select design. Then as you can see right here, templates. Then I could simply type in landing page. So you could t you have two options. You can either type in landing page websites or you could type in the particular topic that you want to cover. After typing in landing page, you can see the different templates right here that I can choose from. And by the way, anyone that you see with the pro, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular landing page. But there are numerous landing pages that you can use for free. For example, this one right here. All you'll have to do is tap on the one that you want to use. Then you don't have to select all pages. You could select just one particular page. As most of the time with landing pages, all you need is one. After you have selected the page you want to use, for example, this one right here. Let's say I want to change the image. All I would have to do is tap on the image box. Then I could go over to the left hand menu option and tap on elements. Then from there, I could type in healthy eating. So let's say I type in healthy eating, then tap on it, or I could select woman eating healthy. Then from here, you can see photos. I could tap on see all and use one of these photos that are copyright free. So all I would have to do is scroll down and select one of the copyright free photos. For example, this one right here. And I could simply tap and drag it. After I've done that, I can now start editing the text. So from here, I could change this text right here if I wanted to. Or you can change the text style. All you have to do is tap on the text box. Then right where you see the season light on my screen, you will tap on that. And you will see the different font styles that you can choose from. So you can select a particular font style of your liking by simply tapping on it and you can also change the size of the font if you want and you can also change the color of the font by tapping on the color box so if you wanted to change this color to let's say for example pink i could do that as you can see right there and also if i would like to change the background color all i have to do is tap on the canvas then i'm going to tap on the color box in the top left hand corner and from there, I have the option to change the background color. So if I wanted to change the background color to white, I could do that as you can see right there. Or if I wanted it to be yellow, I could do that. But I prefer how it looks in white as you can see right there. And also to edit the button is quite easy. If you would like to make the button clickable, which more than likely you are going to want to do that, all you would have to do is tap on the button then from here, we could change the text to, let's say, buy now. So we could type in buy now right here. Then to make the button clickable, all we'd have to do is select the button, then tap on the three dots. Then from there, you are going to see link. You are going to tap on link. Then you'll simply paste your link right there that you would like to redirect customers to your offer. And also, if you would like to add another image or so on, you can do that quite easily. Let's say, for example, I want to add a second page. I'll tap on Add Page. 
After I've tapped on add page, I'm going to go back into elements. Then again, I would select woman eating. Then after doing that, if I wanted to add a video, you can see videos right here. Or if I wanted to add a graphic, I could do that. Let's say I want to add a graphic instead. So I want to add this graphic. I could simply tap and drag it and place it right here. And also, if you would like to make the graphic animated, you can do that. And by animated, I mean instead of it being just a still graphic, you can do you can make it move slightly. All you have to do is select the graphic, then tap on animate. Then from here, as you can see, if you would like it to fade, breed, or change, you can see right there. So let's say I wanted to do that. I could do that. And let's say I want to change the background. All I would have to do is tap on the background. Then if I wanted to change the color, let's say I want the color to be pink. I could select pink. Then after doing that, if you wanted to add text, you would tap on text right here. Then from here, you could select the text box. So I could add the text box right here, just for example sake. And from here, I could type in whatever I want. Then after typing in that, again, you can go over to the left-hand menu option. And from there, you could select elements. And if you would like to add a button, you could do that. You could simply type in button right here. So you can see click button, you will tap on that. After you have tapped on click button, you can see graphics. You are going to tap on see all. Then you can see the different button styles that you can choose from. So let's say for example sake, I want to use this particular button. I'll simply tap on it. Then I'll change the size by simply pulling on the sides right here. After you have done that, you can also add a text. So all you'll have to do is go over to the left-hand menu option again, tap on text. Then, for example, I'll tap on add a subheading, and I'll simply drag it over the button. And then I'll type in by now. And again, to make it clickable, all you have to do is simply select it, then tap on the three dots right where you see more, and you'll tap on link. And from there, you could add your link. Or, for example sake, if you would like to add a link to this page, all you would have to do is simply tap on the page. So you want to select the canvas. Then you are going to select from the pencil right here. Then you'll see page title in the top left-hand corner. You are going to tap right there where it says add title. Then you could add the title. So let's say I want the first page to be called test. I can do that right there. As you can see, it is now named test. So let's say I want to link page one to page two. So all I would have to do now is simply tap right where I see by now. Then I'll tap on the three dots. Then I'm going to tap on link. After I've tapped on link, I could simply type in test, then tap on enter. And now it is linked to page one. So now page two is linked to page one. If you would like to redirect them to another page on your landing page, as you can see right here. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do is go up to the top right hand corner and you could select preview to see how it looks. So I've selected preview and this is how my landing page looks at the moment. As you can see right here, this is it. So now if you would like to publish it, you will simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Then after you have tapped on publish, you can see right here, you can choose whether you want to use a free domain that is provided by Canva or you would like to purchase a domain or you would like to use an existing domain if you have one. Once you have made your choice, I'll select free domain, you'll tap on continue. Then from here, you can change your domain URL by tapping on the pencil right there. And you can also add a web description if you want. Then after you're finished, you're going to tap on publish and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.